Hello Capricorns, I'm going to look into your situation, what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you, just whatever the cards want to say here. The last reading I did, I keep getting the energy of a secret admirer, so this is pretty consistent. I get someone that's like, they have feelings for you, but they might not be telling you. They're kind of shy, they're kind of just watching you from the sidelines. Um... I feel the last reading that I did, I was getting that the secret admirer keeps trying to approach you, like they try to flirt with you or they try to kind of put themselves out there, but you're so distracted or you have so much going on that you're just not, like, you're not recognizing their advances. Like, they're, like, flirting, but it's like you're not aware that they're flirting with you or, like, you don't understand the extent of it. Like, maybe they're dropping hints, but you're just not good at picking up the hints. So it's like this person kind of goes back and forth because they kind of feel rejected. Like they, they, it's like they put themselves out there, but you're like, you have like tunnel vision, like you're focused on work or you're focused on something particular. So you don't realize that they're flirting with you. And then it's like, they kind of feel shut down, but then they kind of go off in their head and they're like, well, like, are you just really busy or are you not interested like they can't tell so they go back and forth they're like maybe I should try again maybe I should make it more obvious but they're really shy and awkward so I feel like it just backfires on them like they try to flirt but you just don't realize that they're flirting or you don't realize that they have feelings for you like that you think it's just all fun and games or something like you're not understanding them exactly so they're kind of torn you know like they don't understand they don't know if you're rejecting them or if you're just busy or if you just have a lot going on. Like, they can't really tell how you feel, so they're kind of confused. Well, let's see what the cards have to say. That message. I'm going to put all these up right. I'm not reading anything reversed. <laughs> High Priestess of Earth. Okay, could be another Earth sign. Or maybe you're thinking about sending a message. Honesty. Oath. I think actually maybe it was meant to be reversed because I'm looking at this energy now because these three cards would have come out reversed and I almost feel like it's saying like like this person wants to message you. They want to confess their feelings. They want to take that next step. They want to be honest about how they feel. Like they want to be like loyal to you. Like they want to like make this vow to you. They want to, you know, be transparent. They they it's like look at this person's got like their hand on their heart like you know like you have my heart like you you know you're important to me like you mean a lot to me it's like they're trying to like they're wanting to come forward and communicate and be honest and really just straightforward with you and maybe like make a promise to you or just be loyal to you like they're wanting to take things to the next level but you're just not understanding their advances. And maybe there's some sort of sense of awkwardness. Like, cause I feel like a really, I feel the shy, awkward sort of energy. So it's like, maybe you guys like work together and you have to see each other a lot. So it's like, if you were to reject them, it would be awkward. Or like, maybe they, maybe they work somewhere that you frequent a lot, like a cafe or like a restaurant or bar or store or somewhere where it's like one or both of you, like, like you go there or they go there or something of that sort. So it's like, they have to see you a lot. So it would be really awkward if you rejected them. Like there's, I get that sense that it's like, they have to, like, they couldn't just like, escape if you rejected them you know what I mean like they would have to see you and it would hurt them and it would feel awkward and they wouldn't know what to say and so they're trying to avoid that um it's kind of just like it's just a continuation of the story we were getting a couple weeks ago where it's like except they're getting more frustrated I feel like they're wanting to message more than they were before I feel like that energy is stronger than it was before like they're really wanting to like I feel like maybe like make an oath like make like a promise to you like this is going to be different like this isn't going to be what you're used to this is going to be you know 
unique. This is going to, like, they want to, like, convince you of this, almost. Like, they want to show you that this is something that it's not going to be, like, what you've had in the past. Like they're, um, it's really sweet. It's like they're thinking about this connection and they're like, they're wanting to make these promises to you and they're wanting to, um, it's almost like they're wanting to say, you know, like if you were to give me a chance, like I, I promise I wouldn't be like everybody else. Like I wouldn't hurt you like you've been hurt in the past. I wouldn't let you down. I wouldn't, like maybe they've seen you hurt with other people or something. They like like it's like they're thinking about like making these promises to you. Like they want to convince you. I feel like that's what they're trying to do right now because they feel like they're getting frustrated trying to show you how they feel cuz you keep like not getting their hints. Um or you keep like maybe it's like the wrong timing for you and so you're kind of like trying to brush it off or something. So I feel like now they're kind of just resorting to like showing you who they are and just hoping that you fall in love with them based on like like if they can show you like that they're different if they can show you that they're unique if they can show you you know like get some time with you it's like they feel like maybe this will de just develop naturally like maybe you'll just you know what I mean like they're they're resorting to a different approach now because they kept trying to kind of like maybe like wanting to ask you out or trying to like hint at their feelings and it just wasn't working. You guys were going back and forth. And it's so like, they're still kind of trying to hint at their feelings, but I think now that the approach that they're going with is, um, is more of just, uh, showing you who they really are and showing you what kind of relationship you guys could have together. It's like, it's a very emotional energy. It's like, maybe you opened up to them about some things. Like you, you told them maybe some stuff that you've been through in your past for some of you. Cause I just get that sense that they're like really wanting to, um, it's like, it's like they're protecting your heart, like with the same intensity that they would protect their own heart. You know, like they really want you to know that they like that they would protect you, that they would protect, that they would be um, mindful of your emotions, that they would be different, that they would be loyal to you, that they would do right by you. It's like this person has like a lot of honor and integrity. It's like they're really wanting to show you how it could be with them. Um, A longing reversed, chaos. Maybe your life is just chaotic, chaotic or someone's like moving or something. I don't know. Beauty reversed. It's like you're so focused on the chaos in your life, maybe you're not noticing the beauty. And it's like when you notice it, you're going to want to take this risk, I think. But it's like you're so focused on like these other things that are draining you and, and taking all your attention away that you're not really noticing like the beauty around you. Like you're not noticing like the love around you, this love offer that's around you. Maybe you're so focused on like your soulmate having to be out there, like having to be far away from you that you're like kind of just used to being alone, like. Like, okay, this will come in eventually. Like, I don't, like, I don't have time for this. It's not, it's not right for me right now. Or like, like pushing it away from you almost like, you know, it couldn't be that easy. Like, there's no way this person could be the one for me. Like, like you're not seeing that this love offer is like right in front of your face. Like that beauty, the, the love that you're looking for is right in front of your face. And it's almost like part of you doubts it. It's like, it couldn't be that simple. Like you're, it's like you're self-sabotaging, like. It's like you want love, like you you pray for love or you you think about having a romantic relationship, but then when it's real, it scares you. Like when it's right in front of your face, it's like you either don't recognize it, like you don't recognize that this person is interested in you, or it's like you do recognize it, but like you sabotage it and you say it's the wrong timing or you push it away from you or you um, like you doubt the connection, like you keep like sabotaging like... Like, you sort of made love just, like, a dream. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's almost like you're emotionally unavailable in some way and you don't even realize it. Or, like, you have fears of commitment or fears of abandonment or both. But it's almost like you're not even fully conscious of it. Because it's like you dream about love, but I feel like you, you keep it a safe distance away from yourself. It's, it's almost like you pray for love and you're like, I want love. Like, I want this romantic relationship. I want this to happen. But you're viewing it as something that's far away from you. Like, 
like, oh, this will probably happen within a couple years or like when I'm in a better living situation or when I have a better job, like that's when this love is going to come in or, you know, like, yeah, there's people around me, but like, I haven't met the right person yet. I'm sure I will someday. It's like, you're kind of pushing it away from you. Like you're feeling like it's, it's got to be a struggle. You're, you're putting that energy into it being um, something that has to happen a long time from now or something that's just not easily attainable or, you know, just kind of sabotaging it and pushing it away from you without realizing it. So you're contradicting yourself and you're almost confusing the universe because it's like you're praying for love and you're asking for this kind of like, you know, um, stable like power couple, like this, like this strong, stable relationship. But like when it's in front of you, it's like you, you just, you doubt it or you sabotage it or you, you don't notice it when it's right in front of you, or you just think it can't be that easy. And you're just kind of like, just constantly like in this merry-go-round of like chasing it and pushing it away from you. And once you get there, it's like you, you sabotage yourself and push it further away once you get close to it. It's like you run towards the love and then it's like, you're almost there and you push it away again once you're almost there. Then you run towards it again and it's like you're almost there. You've almost got that love and then you push it away again. Like uh, maybe maybe this isn't the right person or maybe this isn't the right timing for me or maybe, you know, like it'll happen eventually. It's like it's like you, you can't you're, you need to get in that mentality of like you can have love now, like today, like in this present moment. Like, you know what I mean? It's like you're subconsciously sabotaging yourself and pushing away what you're asking for, I feel so, and it's like this beauty is around you, like this person is around you, but you might not notice them because you might be so focused on like feeling alone and feeling like love is unattainable or out of reach, or you have all these other things that you have to focus on. It's just the wrong timing. And it's like, if you just look around you, like you already have love, you already have this person that's like compatible with you that thinks you're the entire world that's, that's noticing you. And this could be someone who's practically a stranger. This could be like someone who like works at a grocery store or something or a cafe and they just like are intuitive and empathic and they just notice your energy and just think you're just the way you dress, the way you smile, like everything about you is just beautiful and amazing, but it's like, you're so in your head and you're so like in this energy of like, there's no way it would be that easy. There was no way I could have this love now. You know what I mean? Like constantly making it something that has to be in the future instead of right in the present moment. And so it's like, you're not noticing this person that's trying to get your attention. Um, and I, I do feel that awkward energy. So this could be like a coworker or someone that like has to talk to you or like see you on a regular basis. And so maybe it's like awkward. So they're not really trying to come forward too much because they want to respect your boundaries and also like if you do reject them they don't want it to be awkward since you guys like have to kind of see each other you know um which would make sense even like for someone that like works at a grocery store or like a cafe that you go to like they don't want to like maybe they're like a cashier at the cafe you go to and they don't want to ask you out because they're like they don't want you to stop coming to the cafe and feel uncomfortable or like report them to their manager and have them get fired. You know what I mean? Like they don't, they don't know what your boundaries are with them. They, they can't, they keep trying to figure out how you feel and they're getting frustrated because they don't really know how you feel. Um, so they're kind of confused. So it's like, yeah, the love you're seeking is right in front of you already. Like you, you have someone here. Um, if this is your story, if you're resonating with this, if this is your, if you're in this energy group, then you have that love already there. You're just not noticing it. It's kind of like, it reminds me of that scene from, um, Garden State, um, the, like the ending where it's like, she's, I don't know if I've mentioned, I probably, I think I've mentioned this, this scene before for this group. I feel like I have. Oh my gosh. Um. It's like Natalie Portman is like crying because, you know, he's leaving. Like he's going, he's, he's flying away. He's going back home to another state. Um, and she's, you know, he, he's like, he's like, I can't do this now. Like I have to, I have to go get my life together. I have to go find a new job. I have to do this. I have to do that. And she was crying and like begging him to stay. She's like, dude, life is messy. Life isn't meant to be perfect. Life is going to be messy. Life is chaotic let's just get through this together. Like, let's just figure it out, you know? And he's like in this like controlled energy where he's like, no, I have to do this first. I have to get this job first. I have to do all this, all these things first. And then, you know, once I get everything in order, everything's perfect. I'm in like completely perfect place, completely healthy. Then I'll come back to you, you know? 
and she's crying and it's like she's like on the payphone calling her mom and like crying and freaking out and then he comes back like he doesn't get on the plane and he comes back it's romantic it's sweet he goes and like chases her and um you know knocks on on the on the payphone booth and stuff and he's like you know that's like that's the end of the movie he's like they're like, so what do we do? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> but they're together. You know what I mean? Like, they're just, it's like, life isn't perfect. There's never going to be a right time for love. There's never a right time for it. You know what I mean? Like, you're never going to be perfectly stable and perfectly have, like, have the perfect job, have, have everything, all your ducks in a row. Like, no one ever has, like, everything perfect. There's always going to be something. And you don't want to use those those little things in life as excuses not to love and excuses not to live your best life, you know? Like it's going to, it doesn't, it can be perfect. It can be imperfect. It can be messy. Just, just start working through it together, you know, live in the present moment more. Um, so it's like, try to recognize this love that's around you, like this person that's around you and you're going to have success. Yeah. You have success. It's like, you've been in denial though. It's like, you have it here and you're like, oh, this is, it can't be this easy. Are you sure it's this easy? <laughs> Maybe the moon, the new or full moon phase coming up might illuminate some things for you. It's like it's not forbidden. Like you think it's forbidden, but it's not. <laughs> it's like going to be holding on to some things too, which is good. Which is good. It's like you want to hold on to this. All right, what else? Okay, I'm going to pull some other cards actually. What else is there to say about this connection? Yeah, this person is shy. They're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of it not working out. So they're still just trying to get your attention. And they're like, oh, what do I do next? <laughs> I feel like they're getting very emotional. Like they're getting, I feel like they're trying harder than they were before, but they're trying in different ways because I feel like their original approach wasn't working. Like trying to flirt, it's like you just weren't getting it. And they were getting really kind of annoyed and frustrated. So it's like now they're just kind of like trying to like take a step back and like be in the present moment more and maybe just like show you through their actions and like behaviors, like kind of show you that this is stable and they're just hoping that maybe something will naturally develop over time. But yeah, they're, they're working up the courage and assertiveness to move forward, like choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Like they don't, they don't know how to approach you. They don't know how to do this. And again, some of them might have something to lose. So that might be why they're not putting themselves out there. Like if this is someone that like works at like a grocery store or a cafe or somewhere that you go to, it's like this person is afraid that you're going to be like, screw you weirdo. And you know, report them to their manager and they're going to lose their job. Like they don't, you know what I mean? Like, cause they can't read you. They can't tell if you're flirting with them. They can't tell if you're interested. They can't, they, they know that you're busy and you've got a lot on their plate on your plate. Like maybe they can tell just like through your body language and your energy that you have a lot on your mind, but they're like, they're just not sure if, um, if you're not noticing their advances or if you're just not interested or if you're trying not to notice because you're not interested, like they don't know what's going on with you. So they're, they don't feel like they have the green light. Like they need an opening to come forward. I feel, you know what I mean? And it can be something simple, like, like, uh, I noticed you got your hair cut. It looks good. Like, that's, that's a nice shirt you're wearing. Like you have a nice smile, like something to get a feel for this. You know what I mean? Like, cause they don't feel like they have an opening right now and they don't know what to do. <laughs> you gotta stop, you gotta stop sabotaging true love. <laughs> this could be someone coming in too. And it might be saying like, this could be a new person coming in and it might be saying, cause like if you meet someone at like the grocery store or you meet someone like out in public, you might only have that one chance. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, there's so many people out there that it's like, you're not, you might have that one chance to get their phone number and they might be too shy to do it themselves. So it might be that kind of energy too, where it's like when this energy comes up and you intuitively are like, Oh, that's the person. It's like, make your move, make your move for some of you, for some of you. Yeah. Yeah, there's miscommunication, there's confusion, there's, but the divine is like getting you guys through that and trying to show you the, trying to show both of you the truth, you know, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, choose a path, hmm. 
It was almost like choose to like see the negative in situations or choose to see what's in front of you. It's like you're living in the past maybe a little bit for some of you and it's like you need to see what's in front of you. Your guides are trying to get you out of this energy and trying to show you this, this love that's right in front of your face. This potential that's right in front of your face. Yeah, willpower, strength, confidence. It's like, yeah, it's like they're back and forth. Like they, they, they want, they have that strength and confidence, and they want to come forward, but they're like confused and uncertain too. They're like, oh, how does this person feel? And so they're kind of like stagnant sometimes because they're like, what do I do? Because you seem so cold and guarded and distrusting. You seem like you're just, you know, like they're trying to get to the bottom of this. They might be like scrying on you or trying to figure out like through psychics like what's going on with you. Because they're like, yeah, they're confused. They don't know what's going on. Manipulation, deception. They're like, they're, it's like, it's like blindfolded. They're like, look at this person's whispering, but it's like, you don't know what they're whispering. It's like, you're so like, like, huh? Like, where am I? What's going on? <laughs> Who is this? Like, they, they can't get to the, they can't figure out the truth. They can't figure out like what you feel for them, you know? So yeah, I would just say like, and again, if this is someone if you're not sure about this person, then, then just, just do something subtle. Like, it's just like, say like, like, Hey, I missed hearing your voice or like, I, or I guess that's not very subtle. <laughs> I'm such a romantic that to me, that's like subtle. I'm like, that's not that much. I'm like, Oh wait, that would probably scare most people. Never mind. Don't listen to me about that one. Um, but I mean, like you, you know, this person better than I do, of course. So it's like, you know what to say to them? Like, Hey, like, you cut your hair. That looks good. Like that, that shirt looks really, that color, lo that shirt looks really nice on you. Um, you know, like get, just get out of your head and notice the love that's like right in front of your face. You know what I mean? Like be conscious of it, you know? Um, cause this is like a shy, sweet, secret admirer type. And it's like, just, just get out of your head and make that move. And again, it can be something subtle. Like, like, like I noticed your shirt or I noticed, you know, your, um, your haircut or like you look good today. Like, like it's really, it was really good to like, you know, it was really good to see you. Like I'm, you know, I always like talking to you, like just something that kind of opens it up and see if they flirt. And then you're gonna get an idea of this is that person. Cause this person is looking for that opening and they don't feel like they have it. So you need to be a little bit more forward with them. But again, like not like forward forward, but like more forward than you've been. Cause they're not, they're not getting it or you're not getting it. I mean, oh my God. So much confusion. I swear to freaking... Just, you know what I mean. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Could be an ex that wants to come in too and apologize for um, getting dragged into a third party distraction. They want... They, they're wishing that they had chosen you. But I don't think... I don't know if you want that. Yeah, it's just a codependent connection that wants to come back around. I don't think you want it. It's just, like, yeah, just temporary. Show me a few more cards on this new person. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Because I keep getting like coworker kind of energy here. Yeah, like they want, see, happiness, warmth, light, make your move, green light. Like they want this opening. Like they want, like they want you to take control and give them that opening so that they know that they can do this. Like, and again, you can do it subtly. Like I'm not saying that you have to like go all out and ask them out or anything. Well, maybe some of you do. If you like run into this person, like, like you're both at the grocery store at the same time and like, they're not working there. They're just like, you're both shopping. Like you might have to take that chance. Cause that might be your only chance. You know what I mean? Like you might not see them again after that. So you might have to take that chance while you can. But, um, but for most of you, I think this is someone that you probably see or talk to regularly or like they, they like work somewhere, or, like they work with you, like a coworker or they work somewhere that, um, like you go to them regularly or like, like a coffee shop or a re or grocery store, restaurant, bar or something, or vice versa. Like you work there and they're, they're like a customer and they come in and they're actually coming in to see you and you don't even realize it, but they're actually there for you. Like, like if you're like a bartender or something and it's like, this person keeps coming in, 
and you're like, why are you always here? It's like, they're not there to drink. They're there, they're there to talk to you. They just, that's the only way they know how to do it though. You know, they don't know if you would say yes if they asked you out. But, um, but yeah, they want this opening. They want that clarity, that light, that, that truth to come through. They want to know how you feel. And again, you could do that in a really subtle way. Just compliment them and just see what they do with it. You know what I mean? Like just, just flirt a little bit and see how they take it. Um, again, this person is shy and awkward. They're like a sweet, sweet boy or girl next door type, I feel, but they're kind of shy and awkward. So sometimes they don't get hints. So you have to be kind of like, like, like you have a really nice smile and like kind of, you know, flirt, twirl your hair and just see what they do, that kind of thing, you know, because they want to make a move. They want the green light before they do though. So anyway, I hope this helps. And if it does, um, I do private readings. My email is below. And um, please donate, you know, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal and my Cash App is below. And uh, please subscribe if this resonates. Thank you for watching.